welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have never really been one to do these because I never want to like create a comparative aspect of any eating habits, but I thought it might be helpful given like we're all home being quarantined and looking for stuff to cook or make for our meals. Charlie is like crying because he wants to be outside with me, but we realized that there is not a fence on this side of the house and I found him in our neighbor's backyard so he will not be coming out on this side. Anyway, I'm gonna walk you through what I eat in like a typical day in quarantine, as typical as we can kind of be. Um, I'm at my parents in Florida and I've been relying on just like a lot of stuff that we stocked up on at Trader Joe's earlier this week. So I hope this is somehow helpful or enjoyable. We shall see, but here's what I eat in a day. I keep forgetting to do this every morning, so I already kind of started. First thing every morning is that I fill up a large glass with water and then also apple cider vinegar and some lemon. And then once I finish that, it's coffee time. So I make an espresso, Charlie. I make an espresso and then I fill up a cup with Elmhurst almond milk, which you can use code FreckleFoodie20, a scoop of Vital Proteins Collagen, some Beam CBD, I'll also put the discount code in the, show, in the episode notes, and cinnamon. And then I put that in a pot on the stove, whisk it all together with like my handheld whisk, electric mixer thing, and then pour it over a shot of espresso and that's like my morning coffee. Really into smoothies lately because I just feel like I'm able to use stuff that we have like in the pantry in the freezer and like throw one together. So this is the one I've been making. Ice and water, I'm making two. Um, a banana, this is this like garden of life protein powder and then frozen berries and frozen spinach and then usually I forgot this but I'll also use cashew butter <laughs> and just like that breakfast is served lunch I am just looking through the fridge and finding things that I want for today fortunately we have a stocked fridge so we have some leftover sweet potato and butternut squash that I cooked last night and leftover Brussels sprouts and avocado so I'm probably gonna mix those together I mean asparagus maybe put this half an avocado with them, some feta, cause I love this feta. And then I've been obsessed with this Trader Joe's guacamole, so I'll probably have some of that with some chips. All right, this is lunch. Hey bud, I know you want some. Veggies, feta, avocado, guacamole, and crackers. Weird meal, but what I was in the mood for. Almost forgot to film this, so I ate half it already, but I'm having this Simple Mill soft big spiced carrot cake bar as a snack. For dinner, I'm doing a mix of the cauliflower gnocchi and the kale gnocchi from Trader Joe's. This is olive oil with some cherry tomatoes and frozen spinach. And then just cooking the gnocchi on a skillet with some oil. And then I'll mix it in with the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto from Trader Joe's and some of their feta. So honestly, I just realized this is a full Trader Joe's meal. Here is the final product, some cauliflower and kale gnocchi with frozen spinach, grape tomatoes, feta, and pesto. Lucy did hers with, what was it? Parm. What? Parm? Parmesan. Parmesan, and then a glass of wine. Now for my nightcap, which is how I end almost every night, Van Leeuwen chocolate, and this is my new favorite brownie sundae raspberry swirl, which I am freaking pumped about, and Lucy wants me to show you that she is making a Trader Joe's lava cake. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that random day of not so exciting meals. Either way, come back to the YouTube channel for more, subscribe, check out the latest videos, I think the last one, I hope this is right, is the one where Lucy teaches me how to do makeup and it's pretty fucking funny. So have a great day. Everyone stay safe and healthy and find some sense of happiness in these scary times.